Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My dear students of grade 5, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm your English teacher, Mrs. Nahid. I welcome you all to Pakistan International School's Distance Learning Program, English Language Lesson 1, Week 4. My dear students, before we begin with today's lesson, let us first recapitulate what we have covered so far. My dear students, in our previous lessons, we had discussed about maintenance of notebooks, term, syllabus, procedure of assessment, identification of nouns in a sentence, introduction, classification, and importance of English language and grammar. My dear students, pronouns are small words that take the place of a noun. We can use a pronoun instead of a noun. Pronouns are words like he, you, ours, themselves, some. If we did not have pronouns, we would have to repeat a lot of nouns. We would have to say things like, do you like the monitor? I don't like the monitor. The monitor is to pampers. My dear students, the most common pronouns are the personal pronouns. They are used to represent people. They can show the first person, the speaker, second person, the person being spoken to, or third person, the person being spoken about. Like nouns, personal pronouns can function as either the subject of a verb or the object of a verb or a preposition. My dear students, you must have heard, practice makes the man perfect. So let us do practice to identify pronouns in the given sentences. That information was confidential between Sana and me. So let's find out our pronoun in these four options. Option one, that. Option two, was. Option three, between. And option four, me. Okay, I count one to five. Let's see whether you can answer correctly or not. Okay, so our correct answer is me. Me is a pronoun in these four options. But I thought you gave those things to them yesterday. So let's see which one is our pronoun in these four options. We have four options, but gave those them. I give you a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And our pronoun is them. Sentence number three. The big bank's policies seem unfair to us customers. We have again four options. Big, us, seem, and two. I count one to five. Let us see whether your answer is correct or not. One, two, three four and five okay uh, and our pronoun is us sentence number four something about the arrangement did not look right to her we have again four options her did the not let's see whether you can find out pronoun or not okay our pronoun is her in these four options. Her is the third person, singular person, pronoun. We have another sentence now. Going to the concert together was more fun for Ali and me than either of us going alone. We have again four options. Ali, me, going together. All of you know the first one is noun you have done recently. So let's find our pronoun. I count one to five. One, two, three, four, five. And the correct 
answer is me. Me is the first person singular personal pronoun objective case. Let us now identify our pronoun in this given sentence. This sentence is, Ali told me that he had wanted to be a nurse all of his life. We have again four options, Ali, that, his, nurse. I count one to five. Let us see who gives the right answer. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And the correct answer is his. Let us now find uh, or identify our pronoun in this sentence. Shiala and the rest of them were members of the same club. We have four words, rest, war, club, the. I count again, one to five. Let's see whether your answer is correct or not. One, two, three, four, five. And our correct answer is them. Let us now identify a pronoun in this sentence. What did you think would happen when you did that? We have four options. You think would when? And our correct answer is you. You is the second person, personal pronoun. It is used as both a singular and a plural. It is the subject of this sentence. My dear students, this is going to be the last sentence. Ali and I went to an art exhibit together. We have four options, Ali and I and art. Again, I count one to five. Let's see whether your answer is correct or not. Ali and I art. One, two, three, four, and five. And our correct answer is I. I is a first person singular personal pronoun subjective case. Pronouns are words that can be used in place of nouns. Ali, the first one, is a name, and that is name of a specific person, hence it is a proper noun. My dear students, with this we have come to an end of our today's class. Kindly solve your worksheets based on identification of pronoun uploaded by your English teachers. Don't forget to send back to us. Bye-bye.